run forever and ever and ever and it's going to be a big load on your server it's going to make your uh, computer crash now we don't want that we want it to stop at some point and right now we want it to stop when it's run uh, when it's finished running the number of times uh, corresponding to the no total number of users that are currently in the database so each time we run this we want it to go up by one this variable to go up by one so th this this line is what it, that's doing row count plus plus so whenever you see a plus plus it means add one to the current uh, variable and make that the new variable so if it's one it becomes two if it if it's two it becomes three that's all it's doing and the next line is if um, if the username is already in existence so right here what's happening is if the user name has already been used that's what this is checking right here if uh, so we define the variable here and now that we define the variable we can use the the information inside that variable and right now this variable is an array is like it's like one one row array and user username is simply the the column name inside the database we created if you remember correctly in, in the install database.php file we created a uh, a column called user username see right here that's what's being used right here and data arrow user username is the username for that specific row for the row that has a row count of here negative one it's going to be later zero one two blah 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 and if and this is the of course the variable the username we created at the very beginning defining the retrieving the username that was entered into the form this is the username that's in the database so if those two are equal which is the double equal sign right here we want PHP to say the username has uh, is not available and because we found something that's not working that's all we needed to know if there's more later on then it doesn't really matter we found one that's that's all really all we really need to check so we say row count is equal to number of users and that's effectively going to end the while statement prematurely uh, on the other hand if row count if this never happens all the usernames are different and the row count naturally becomes the same as the number of users and nothing has happened then we want to say the username uh, blah 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 has been selected and we want to check go on to the next check see we we're, I'm doing this by order I'm checking the username first the top first and then the password and then the next password and then finally I type in the age country and then register at the very bottom so now back to the PHP code we will see um we will see all right we were going to check now this next line here is checking uh, check that the password and the confirmation passwords match that's what we're doing right here so if the user password is not equal to the user confirm user password confirm both of these we define both of these variables we define at the very top an exclamation equal sign means not equal to so if if it's not equal to each other then we say the passwords do not match and uh, maybe we can add please enter the same password twice accurately and try again and uh, and then we want to echo new user has not been created so let's let's check out what we just wrote right there so if I go back to the registration page this is again on my local server so I I just saved this um, save this file I pressed control s or I can uh, click on save which I already did so I can't do it again 
we go back here, let's say desired username, um, Apple32, password, blah, 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 and then password, there it goes, it's the wrong password, <laughs> what can I say? And then age, whatever, country, or whatever. Now, what's going to say is, username Apple32 has been selected. Done. <laughs> hasn't been that username has been used yet, but the passwords do not match. Please enter the same password twice accurately and try again. The user has not been created. So that's basically what we're doing right here. On the other hand, if the passwords do match, we just type in passwords match. And now we head in towards entering all the data that we just created, which is going to be really easy. This is the fun part where we actually get to interact with the database a lot. So first we define the time. If you remember correctly, we have the Asian country, but we don't have anything for a time because we want the PHP file to generate the time on the spot. So it's uh, more accurate, more accurate to more precise to when the user was actually creating the account. So we're going to uh, define we're going to create a new variable called user join date and make sure you get the capitalizations correctly because PHP is capital sensitive which I I like it's not capital sensitive when you're making the SQL queries like here insert into this can be insert into and it's not going to make a difference but uh, do it because it's more legible insert into uh, but here if you type in I'll say user like capital cap Whoops, why is my cap wall? It's not working. There you go. User join date. That's going to be a different variable. And uh, if I ch just ch use that, my my PHP code will not be working properly because um, I just changed the variable from user join date, uh, lowercase variable, to user join date, capital case variable. So you have to make sure you get the um, variables case sense case correctly so user join date is going to equal time so time is basically going to say uh, at this moment the Linux time is this huge number like it's like 100 million blah 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 something it's a huge number I'll show you later <clears throat> and then we have to write another SQL query another instruction it's like a recipe so insert into the table and then user username which is oh actually never mind this is the these are the column names so insert into the table user into the columns username user password join date age and country and the values that we want to insert into are username user password and the variables that we define above and make sure when you're ha when you're inserting variables you have to pay attention to the quotes that I created here so you have to insert it into s smaller quotes and then you have to create a double quote to pause the SQL query for a second and, and then period is basically add in uh, the syntax for add in PHP and then the variable name once again another period and then uh, close and, the, and then the close the do, uh, double quote so we can start the SQL query uh, code again and then uh, small quote because you need that to, to wrap around the string that's created. So we do that and once again we have to run the MySQL query that we just created. So MySQL query, SQL variable, uh, connect, and there you go. We just, this code right here, it just inserted all the information that we submitted in the form into the database that we created before. So once again, just to make, just to notify the user what has happened, echo the username, uh, Apple32 has been